50 Cent is a devoted hip-hop enthusiast who keeps up with current events. All things considered, there has been a lot to discuss lately. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. As an illustration, consider the feud between Quevo and Chris Brown. In addition, Fifth has been criticizing Diddy in the wake of numerous accusations made against the record producer. Currently, meanwhile, 50 Cent is enjoying the rivalry between Drake and Kendrick Lamar. Lamar has been shooting shots at these two titans, who have been trading blows for some time. Tuesday, Kendrick gifted us with the amazing song Euphoria. He then released 616 in Los Angeles on Friday morning, which serves as a kind of warning to Drake and his OVO group. In the end, all of this has galvanized hip-hop fans, and it will be fascinating to see where it goes. That being said, 50 Cent is among those keeping a close eye on this. He responded to the Kendrick song on social media earlier this afternoon. Moreover, he declared boldly what Drake might have in the tuck. Oh she it's lit Kendrick went again, I heard Drake got a bomb waiting, Fifth wrote. Whether Drake will drop that bomb anytime soon is still to be seen. Fans, though, think it might show up this weekend. That would definitely spice things up, but given that Kendrick took his time, we anticipate Drizzy to follow suit. How this all turns out is something that only time will tell. DJ Academics has never hidden the fact that he adores Drake. Drake and the blogger have been friends even though there have been occasions when they haven't agreed. In actuality, Drake occasionally provides academics with information. After that, everyone can read this material on stream. As it happens, though, this has given rise to the misconception that academics is compromised. Somebody's lying, I can see the vibes on Ak, even he looking compromised. Let's First and foremost, let me say this, Ak is not compromised. That because of his close relationship to Drake and his OVO crew, he can never be completely objective. The new song 616 in Los Angeles, which was released by Kendrick Lamar today, is another jab at Drake. Lamar adopts a more relaxed stance throughout the song, playing on the megastar's purported paranoia. In addition, he asserts in the song that Drizzy is winning no matter what and that academics is compromised. Academics heard this new music live on stream, as you might imagine. Even though he thought Lamar did a great job on this cut, he felt compelled to address the claims that it was compromised. In the video, Kendrick gets praised by academics for his effort. I'm gonna give him his credit. This boy is good. You can see, though, that Academics also stated that he is uncompromised. Despite being a major Drake fan, he still feels compelled to maintain objectivity. Furthermore, given everything Drake has given us in terms of music, Ak claimed that people are attempting to make it appear strange that someone would adore Drake. Though it's a valid point, supporters will still regard Ak as a member of the OVO inner circle. At this point, he has given his admirers far too many reasons to think otherwise. The whole music industry is currently focused on the intense rap dispute between Drake and Kendrick Lamar. All things considered, this has been building since Kendrick released his control rap back in 2013. After Kendrick released like that, it was evident that he was looking to get into a serious dispute. Drake then surprised everyone with push-ups and kept poking fun at us with tailor-made freestyle. After releasing a huge song on Tuesday called Euphoria, Kendrick appears to be winning Galbait by a narrow margin. At the conclusion of Kendrick's diss track, he makes fun of the slang associated with Toronto and the accent. There was one word used specifically, Crody. Don't speak on the family, Crody. He can get deep in the family, Crody. You'll hear this word a lot in Toronto, and Kendrick used it in a way that seemed a little insulting. It appears that Drake has responded to the usage of the term. View a screen grab of Adonis gazing in the mirror from his Instagram story. Drake captioned this image with the words mirror time, Crody after that. When Drake will respond to Kendrick is a matter for speculation. We are going to receive a rebuttal, that much is clear. DJ Academics has attested to this. It might arrive the following week, or it might arrive in a month. Fans should certainly lower their expectations because it seems that this specific conflict has a usual reaction time of three weeks. With the release of Kendrick Lamar's countertrack, Euphoria, the battle between him and Drake is officially going into its second round. Following the opening like that and Drizzy's rejoinders, push-ups and tailor-made freestyle, we are pretty much aware of the primary strategies that each MC is employing to counter their opponent. Regarding the OVO camp, one of the most noteworthy, novel, and explosive incidents involved his allegation that Whitney L. Ford, the wife of K-Dot, had cheated on him with one or more of his bodyguards. Although Kendrick stated that this was a phony attempt to ignite debate about euphoria, fans dug further into the Toronto rapper's back catalog and found additional lines that might imply this. Just pulled up to Whitney Houston, Texas for the evening. Drake sings a verse on DJ Khaled's 2020 collaboration. Pop star. Fans think if this also hinted at Whitney since it's set up similarly to his reference to her on push-ups I be with some bodyguards like Whitney. Nevertheless, given the preceding pop star remark, it's also plausible that the true significance of this line lies in Aubrey's decision to thoroughly examine the bodyguard. It's the 1992 movie starring Whitney Houston and Kevin Costner, which launched her popular Dolly Parton cover song I Will Always Love You. 
The boy addresses this person in the previous line of pop star, if we talking joints, it's just me and David Foster. Therefore, there's not really anything here that links this to Drake's mockery of Kendrick Lamar on push-ups, and just so you know, he'll probably do it again with whatever he's working on next. Let's put aside our tinfoil hats for a moment. Though, perhaps he is hinting that the real threats to Kendrick and Whitney's relationship aren't Kevin Costner's the white women the Compton lyricist acknowledged to having an affair with years prior to this feud, but rather the bodyguards in their own orbit. Like in the hit em up beginning, the six god might have even implied that he was with Whitney on Popstar. Just wait until you hear what comes next if you felt that was a reach. Drake got dissed today as Kendrick Lamar finally offered up his response to push-ups. Overall, Euphoria is taking the world by storm in a big way. People want to talk about it exclusively these days. Within the hip-hop community, all other stories have been shelved. Although some people think Kendrick's bars aren't hitting, others think this might be the best example of pure hate we have ever seen. Kendrick throws some heavy jabs against Drake throughout the song. Regardless of your position on the matter, there's no denying that things are starting to become interesting. Fans have been curious as to whether Drake has heard the song since it was released. Furthermore, some people are debating whether Drizzy will release the song anytime soon. It appears that Drizzy may have responded after all. It's evident from the tweet that Drake has been liking certain Instagram photos. That's it. Is the only caption in one of these posts. Naturally, this suggests that Drake wasn't particularly pleased with K. Dot. This one was unexpected by all. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comments section and most importantly subscribe. See you.